Here at Brizzy, we're always looking for ways to do the old way in a new way and speed up your workflow. This is where we are also very proud of our button, as this element brings in some features that people are always looking for. Before we get to that, let's just look at how to build a button within Brizzy. Here I have a block and I want to add a button here at the bottom to make it a call to action for people to respond to our services. To find the button, you go up here to Add Elements, click on it, and the button is the second element at the top from the left or from the right. Click and drag it, and then you drop it onto your page, and your button will appear there. Take your cursor, place it in the button over the text, double-click and type in your text. Now you can begin styling. It's always a good idea to start from left to right up here in the toolbar. The one on the left is usually the main functions for how the element works. If I click here on this little one, it takes us into the button. There are quite a number of things that can be changed with a lot of presets for you to play around with. For example, the size of the button. It's set at a default of medium, but you can put it on small, large, and every time you see the three little dots, that will take you to custom controls. Actually, what you see here is nothing else but padding, but it allows you to apply it very easily instead of playing around with padding. As I drag the width, you can see on both sides it applies that padding, and the same for the height. If you get lost in all of this, you can just choose one of the defaults again. Let's go for medium. The next part is the fill. Again, something that you can do over here with colors, but why if you can go for these presets? By default, it comes in with a color as well as a hover state color filled into the background. But you can choose just to have an outline or you can choose to have nothing. Of course, you'll have to change the color of the text. Let's leave it on full for now. Then corners, rounded corners, very popular. If you need more control over that, go to the three dots and you can play around here with the shape of those corners. Let's go for nice sharp corners. The border is adjusted over here and incrementally increased in pixels. Also within this dialog box is control over the icon. You can choose an icon from our selection of 4,000 listed in various categories and also available in outline or glyph mode. Position is changed over here and you have independent control over the size of the icon here. Bigger, larger, and then your own custom control. Let's put it at a manageable size of 16. Spacing allows you to determine the space between the icon and your text. This dialog box then allows you to set all the content parameters. For your text, you can apply the topography as you please. And this is done similar throughout all elements within Brizzy that contain text elements. Colors need some special attention because here we have quite a number of things you have to pay attention to. If you open it by default, you have a BG for background, the text, border, and also a shadow that you can apply. But from the beginning, please note that here on the left, this is your default state. Whereas if you click on this little tag over here, you enter the hover state. Let's have a look at how we can play around first with the normal default state. Let's change the background color and make it very dark, choosing one of these swatches down here. The text, here you will change the text color, and you can also change the border color. Let's make it something more visible. And shadows applied over here. For your hover settings, go over to your hover settings, and then the same thing you can do over here. Background, your text color, and your border. Well, at this moment, this button looks quite funky, but at least it gives us an idea of everything that you can do with this button. Very important though, a button is very useless without any links. And here you can add your URL, or you can add an anchor by linking it to any of the blocks within the page. The button can also be aligned by clicking here onto the right, left, or in the middle. A nice shortcut is using Control on Windows or Command on Mac, and then your arrow keys left and right to place the position as you would like it. This is a very easy and quick way to go around the alignment. And here we've covered everything that we wanted to do in styling and formatting. 
Let's get to that feature we talked about at the very beginning, which we are very proud of at Brizzy. Traditionally, if you wanted to create two buttons next to each other in any page builder, you have to bring in two columns like this. And then you will place a button in this column and you will place a button in this column. Then you have to go and drag around the alignment in many various ways to make sure that they can be next to each other. In Brizzy, we've overcome this by creating a grid. Let's delete what we've got here and I'll show you how to do that. Let's say you want to have two buttons here, one to request a quote and the second one to download some information. All you need to do is click on the button and then click on the duplicate. This will automatically put another button in line adjacent to the first one. And you can create multiple buttons to your liking. Of course, let's not go extreme and we delete those. The alignment is applied uniformly now. So if I align them to the right or to the left or to the middle. Of course, naturally you would think this space here in the middle is maybe a little bit too narrow. And now you will notice if you go to the button icon on the left, click on it, that a new option has been added at the bottom that allows you control over that spacing. If I drag it to the right, I apply more spacing and I can reduce it all the way to be adjacent. Let's give it some nice spacing over there. Of course, these buttons don't look very good. It's not what I had in mind. Let's go and make some changes to this button. Let's say I want to have this back background, the text I want it to be white, but the border, I don't want any border for it or a white border like that. And this looks better. Now I've made all these changes and it's going to be quite a task to remember it for the second button. And the great thing is you don't. Within Brizzy, all you need to do is right click on this button, choose copy, and then go to the second button, right click and paste styles. And the styles are nicely copied. So you can change one button and apply all those styles nicely to the second button. And that is how quickly you had created this button. Let's have a look again at that feature. We give text this time a darker color. We give the border also a dark color. Let's see. Then we go to hover. We give the background a light gray. And now we have a very nice looking button, but not anything like the one next to it. Let's copy again by right click, copy, go to the next button, right click and paste styles. Two identical buttons. A great feature, the button element is. For more features and updates on Brizzy, remember to subscribe here on YouTube and also visit our website and blog at brizzy.io.